Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, I am going to be doing a lot of houseplant chores. I also have some new plants to show you, but there's just a lot going on and I'm leaving for the weekend, so I need to get some stuff in order. Before we do get into the video though, guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway to win a $20 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe as well. But yeah, that's going to be all before we get into today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I wanted to show you guys that I put my snow drift back in the cabinet here. I don't know if you can see, but this newer leaf is a little bit more green than the older leaves here. So I wanted to put it back in the cabinet to make sure it's getting lots of light and uh, that it's really super happy. So that is in there and I have kind of replaced the regal with that because this guy was getting a little bit too light for my liking. It started to kind of fade away at the puffiest parts on the plant and I didn't want it to get any more burnt because it is a really beautiful leaf minus all of this damage in the center here, but whatever, <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah, it was just getting a little bit too much light so I wanted to remove it and now it's just sitting on the dresser here. It is my plan this weekend to finally get a white pot for this Gloriosum. I'm gonna find one if it's the last thing that I do. And uh, yeah, we'll have a repotting video for the Gloriosum here soon, but I don't have one yet. Um, but yeah, I think that was a good decision. I also wanted to show you guys my propagation for my sister. This has actually not put out any roots yet, which I'm pretty surprised about. These guys are usually pretty easy to uh, root, but this one has not been. So I'm going to cut off that rot there. The leaf is still looking okay, which is nice, but I definitely want to cut off that and replace the water in this jar because it's looking a little bit cloudy at the bottom there. That will just give it a little bit better of a chance to succeed. All right, so here's the Syngonium. I'm just gonna take my Swiss Army knife and chop off the rot. I always like to look at the end and see if there's any rot deeper into the plant because then I'll just cut further down, but it looks to be nice and clean there. So I'm actually gonna leave this out. This is going to my sister this afternoon. Hi. Lumi is climbing up my body. <laughs> That's not good, Lumi. <laughs> but anyways, I am going to leave this to Callus and then I will probably put it in some water to transport it over to my sister. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to give this to her because she really wants a little albo syngonium and they grow so easily. So hopefully this will root for her, but there are three, maybe even four nodes here to get some roots out of. So there's lots of room for error. <laughs> I also did want to show you guys some new plants that I got in a little trade. So when I went to go pick up Lumi, I met up with Dana, one of my members, and she had some syngonium she wanted to um, trade with me because she knows I've been looking for different syngonium varieties. And I got this one from her. I don't know what this is. I believe it might be Berry Illusion, but it's really cute. And it's already rooting in water there. And then also this little guy, which I think is super cute too. It's got some nice red, greenish leaves here and it's in a really nice chunky soil mixture this looks almost identical to something i would make so definitely going to keep it in this guy here i'm really excited to watch these guys get bushy because syngoniums tend to do that and when they do they look really really great so these guys are just living on the windowsill i'll put them back Propagations do really, really well up here just because of the natural light. And uh, yeah, it just gives them more energy to push out roots. While we have the scissors in hand, there was actually some more pruning that I wanted to do. This new regal leaf is looking really, really nice. I mean, apart from that damage from when it was coming in. 
but the old leaf here is not looking so great. So I actually just think I'm gonna cut it off. It is browning pretty badly there. There's a really good chance that this is just from when I washed this plant down with some soap, but either way, I'm going to chop it off. Make sure I'm chopping the right leaf, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just in case this is something that could spread, I just don't want it on the plant. And you know, I'm not super attached to leaves anymore. I'm attached to good root systems, <laughs> if you know what I mean, so. But yeah, I am much happier with just the single leaf look. Um, it's looking a lot healthier this way, so. I'm gonna keep it like that, keep it in the bathroom here, just until we know for sure that all of those pests are gone, whatever they are. Another huge update here is on my Thai constellation. I'm actually extremely happy about this. You can see the leaf is yellowing here, and the plant itself looks pretty bad at the, uh, the root area. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of rot going on, but luckily what I have also seen on the other side, I didn't want to give up on this is what I'm trying to say. I saw that it was rotting and I knew there was another leaf coming out here, so that would mean another node to possibly root from. So I didn't want to give up on this even though it was rotting. There was no point of me throwing it out, if you know what I mean. like. Why would I throw it out when there's still a chance? And I'm so glad that I didn't throw it out because it actually pushed out a root out of that immature node that I was talking about with this new leaf here. So that's looking really, really good. And I will eventually put this in moss. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of scrape off the rot there and cut the bottom. And then I'm gonna let it callus so that it doesn't sit in the water for any longer. And then we will uh, pot it up into some moss. So I think that's what we'll do today. We'll just scrape off that rot. I don't know if that's the best idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and, then, and then we'll just leave it out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut off this bottom piece here that's brown and gross. That looks so much healthier, so we're gonna leave it there. And then I just like to scrape off the brown stuff because that's not good for anyone. I honestly, I wouldn't do this if you weren't like kind of at your last wits with your plant because I don't know if this really works or if this is bad but it seems to have kept the rot away as best it could for me. We're just digging into this little hole in the plant here. Okay, so that's looking a lot better in my opinion. What's that? Uh, let's take some of that off actually. All right, that's better. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let this guy callus as well. And then maybe at the end of this video, we'll put it into some moss, but I will probably wait another day or two just to let it fully callous because you know how rot is. I'm just gonna feed Lumi quickly because she is meowing and I think she's hungry. <laughs> I forgot that we got up a little bit earlier today. So she's doing really, really well though. She has been sleeping through the night, not bothering us while we're sleeping. <laughs> she just sleeps on a pillow between Hunter and I. It's really, really cute. Lumi. Lumi is hungry. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember, I also had a bunch of plants on my windowsill here. But Lumi really likes to look outside, especially here because she can get to there. I have been kind enough <laughs> to give her some window real estate, at least in this room. Um, I've just kept two Hoyas here because I'm trying to train her the best that I can to not chew on plants. And these are pet safe plants. So that is why I'm trying with these guys, but if she does start to chew on them, I will move them also. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure she had some clear space so that she could look outside and not be 
totally obstructed by plants. It's really dark up there, but I decided to put them up there. They are getting a little bit of sun. It just looks really dark. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, those plants are not pet safe. So they are being kept up there out of her reach. This is a euphorbia here and I actually might end up getting rid of this plant because I know that they are very toxic to pets and I don't really want to have any plants in my house that could possibly kill her. A lot of my plants are just kind of mildly toxic and can cause vomiting and stuff like that so that I'm willing to take the risk with but not something as potent as this so I'll probably put this up for sale or for trade or something, or maybe for free on a local group this week. But yeah, it's just gonna stay way up here for now. But I just don't feel comfortable having it in my house. I also wanted to give you guys a little Syngonium update because you guys know I put a lot of Syngoniums in my greenhouse recently. Most of them are doing really well. You can see this freaking Syngonium Wendlandii has another six leaves since I showed you last, which is just amazing. It's such a bush and that's exactly what I wanted from this plant. So I'm definitely happy about that. And then we also have here my little Syngonium Starlight. This guy, I think I underwatered and it yellowed. Um, two leaves, I think yellowed, or maybe this was the second leaf. I just cut one off yesterday because it was definitely yellowing, but I don't have any perlite other than like a few little bits from the soil that this came with. Um, I have a lot of bark and LECA in there. So hopefully that's good enough for this plant. I really think it should be because it's still very well draining and the water goes through it really quickly. But let me know if you really think that perlite is necessary and I will repot this. I just don't have any right now. So it's in a really chunky mix, but just no perlite. The newer leaves though are doing just fine. And I'm pretty sure this plant is gonna be, hi Lumi, just fine. But I do wanna keep an eye on it because the yellowing does scare me a little bit and this guy wasn't like super cheap, so. Yeah, and then we also have a beautiful new leaf on my Syngonium Pink Splash. Look at this half moon leaf here. That's exactly what I was looking for out of this plant. I told you guys earlier that it has some half moon leaves and then it has some just nice splotchy leaves. So it's gonna be a really nicely variegated plant with just a good mix of different types of variegations. Hopefully the next leaf is nice and splashy and they can just kind of alternate. We also got some new growth out of my Syngonium Three Kings back here, but both of them are reverted. So I think this plant has reverted. I think I'll probably end up selling it or trading it if anyone wants it and then getting myself a more variegated one because it is one of my favorite Syngoniums and I do want a good version of it. And then here, my Alba Syngonium is doing amazing. That's the newest leaf there. Again, this one's always just growing like a weed. Looks like there is a new leaf on the way there that might be completely white, but you know, that's okay. We've had that before and it comes back to green. So we also have a new leaf on my Syngonium Batik here. This one's doing really, really well. So yeah, everything's really enjoying the cabinet. I think I kept the lights on a little bit too long, so that could have contributed to the yellowing leaves, but we will see. I'm really gonna keep an eye on this one and possibly repot it if need be. So a lot of my plants need water and I'm gonna be away for the weekend. So now I'm gonna take the time to put some of these guys in my shower and water them so that they're not completely dry when I'm gone. But yeah, we'll just start that process. And then once I have them all in there, we'll just, Soak them down. All right, so I think this is most of the stuff that needs to be watered. I'm just gonna use the handheld little thing there to kind of lightly soak them all. And uh, yeah, I'm using the trays still if they have them because I don't want too much to get down the drain because you know, that's not good. So yeah, we'll just water these guys one by one. So I'm just turning the heat down before we get started. I 
love the new leaf on this plant. It's so beautiful. You guys are probably thinking, Lucia, you say you fertilize your plants every single time you water. Well, I try to, but I am being lazy today. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of time. And I wanna get this video out for you guys, so uh, we are avoiding fertilizer today. <laughs> it shouldn't add too much time to your routine, but just because of the way this is working today, it, it would definitely add some time. All right, so these guys are watered. I also just wanna give them each a little spray down, just the leaves. It's always nice for some extra humidity. And then I'm gonna leave these guys in here to drain for a while. Lumi just loves sitting on my chair here, which makes me really happy because she likes to sit and edit with me. Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah, mine is all the plants missing. I really do love the way that this room is turning out. I definitely need to replace that pot. It's just kind of throwing everything off. But once that is also in a white pot, this is gonna look really, really good. There are definitely still some plants in the cabinet here that need some water. So I'm just gonna go in with this water bottle and touch those guys up. I like to just bottom water these trays. It seems to work really well. And obviously they're made of metal, so it's not gonna spill. Some of the Hoyas and more succulent plants need some water finally. So those guys there will just suck up the water from the bottom and they're in sphagnum moss, so I will have to wring those out eventually, but um, that will take a little while. Same with these guys, I'm gonna bottom water these. And then this guy needs water separately because they don't have drainage holes. Eh. I always spill when I'm filming and watering. <laughs> I also just want to mention how much I'm loving this plant. It has grown really quickly too. This leaf was kind of unfurling when I got it. And then it's put out these two leaves here that seem to be larger than the one that was coming out when it first came. So it's trying to attach itself to the back wall, which will be really great for this plant. Um, it'll kind of establish itself in there and then start putting out some bigger leaves. But the Silver Lady is definitely my favorite syndapsis. But yeah, you can see it there kind of trying to attach itself to the back wall. So hopefully it does that and maybe it'll climb kind of around the cabinet, but we'll see. Maybe I'll give it a moss pole too. I'm sure it would really appreciate that, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and kind of see where it grows. The moonlight's also doing really well. Some brand new leaves coming in. This one is new and then there's another one there. My melanochrysum here also needs some water, so I'm just gonna water it in the kitchen sink here. It's gonna be time to repot this guy pretty soon. There are roots coming out of the bottom here. Before I put this guy back, I want to actually secure the plant to the moss pole because I've been really lazy lately and I've just been letting it kind of flop around in here and it's not doing anything. So I'm going to find some tape and attach it. Yeah, let's go find that tape. All right, so I was able to find some of the Velcro tape and I took it off my Gloriosum that doesn't really need it anymore. So I'm just gonna cut it up into um, a few pieces so I can wrap it around at a few different points. So I just really wanna make sure that it's nice and snug to this node here because that's what's going to produce um, new aerial roots to kind of dig into this to make some larger leaves. I cut another piece, but I don't think it's even big enough. No, not even close to go around. So that was kind of a waste. <laughs> yeah, that's probably good enough. We'll put this guy back in the pot here and then we'll put it back up on the shelf. All right, it's back in its home. Well guys, that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment to enter the giveaway, but that's gonna be all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.